He was a uh, huge inspiration for our guys. Um, tremendous presence in our locker room. Uh, I remember 2006 uh, going through that season and the way he fought and the way he made an effort in between his treatments to come out and be in the locker room and be on the sideline with our guys. He was a special person. Uh, you know, some people have that it factor and he had it. Um, one of the tough parts of answering questions about Nick is I only knew him for a very short time. Uh, he made a huge impact on me in the, in the few visits that we had. Uh, we spent probably more time on the phone than we did uh, in person because he was going through some treatments and I was just taking over Hofstra. But this guy had the ability to just grab people um, and certainly to, uh, to just command, not demand, but command attention. I remember it like it was yesterday, uh, to be honest with you, walking into the house and, and leaving. Um, tough, but the thing that I remember most about it was, again, his, his presence and the way that he always uh, held court and always controlled the room. I mean, he always had that when he was a freshman. Um, it's pretty unique, a younger guy in a room like that was so, I think we had 16 seniors uh, in 2006 and he was able to to hold, hold the room, uh, hold the attention of the room and, and guys would listen to him. And it was the same thing that day when we walked in, uh, he basically got the conversation going and made everyone at ease. And I think now looking back at it, um, it's really what a team truly is, is, is being there for each other and helping each other through, uh, through tough situations. That's definitely something I've learned um, through Nick's fight. So every year, sometime in, July and August, all the coaches get in a room, and we get lunch, and we talk about the candidates for 27. And uh, everybody throw, <coughs> excuse me, throws out some names. Um, Coach Hunter Stein is the guy that is as close to, to, is as closest to Nick as anybody on our staff. So what he says weighs a little bit more than other people just because he knew Nick better than anybody else. I remember, um... It wasn't about goals and assists, obviously about winning games, but it was more about the, the uh, head award that he used to give out after games. And that was something that everyone on the team fought for. And that award never really went to someone who scored the most goals or had the most assists, but it was more for the Hofstra plays that he put an emphasis on, just the way he played that blue collar uh, mentality. And it was the guy who fought between the lines, the guy who uh, made a good defensive stop, picked up the most ground balls. That was something that, uh, that he definitely inspired our guys with. Uh, people are interested in hearing who's gonna wear 27 for us this year. Someone's given up their number to wear 27 to, uh, to carry on Nick's legacy. 27 is really important to me because uh, the coaches really put a lot of trust in me to every day live out Nick's legacy. It's an opportunity to be a fighter, to scrap, to lead, to be, say the right things at the right time, to make the right play, to swing momentum. It really means a lot. It's a legacy year. Um, so many people that I've looked up to, that I've played with in the past have worn this, and they've done a, a great job of doing those things. So I uh, think it's really important for me to carry that out and do a good job leading and doing the things Nick did so well. Uh, people looked up to him. Uh, because he was such an overachiever and because of some of the things that he said when he did say something you know it was it was powerful and uh, for that that's the reason why we are here today I mean 10 years later and uh, the legend of Nick Kalalori is still as strong as it possibly could ever be.